The protocols demonstrated in this video can be reproduced in any lab in the world. In combination, they represent a systematic and powerful approach to characterizing bacterial flagella motility. Motility is a crucial aspect of bacterial dissemination and survival. And these three methods are useful and powerful tools for the analysis of both individual and collective motility. The techniques described here can readily be applied to study an array of bacteria, including those classified as pathogenic in nature. When attempting this procedure for the first time, keep in mind that if the swarm plates are prepared incorrectly, inconsistent behavior or patterns that mimic but do not truly reflect collective motion may be observed. Grow overnight cultures of the desired motility deficient strain in 5 milliliters of Lenox broth at 30 degrees Celsius with horizontal shaking. Then subculture in fresh LB under the same conditions to exponential phase. Inoculate 6 microliters of the culture into the center of a soft agar plate, pushing the loaded pipette tip into the agar to gently expel the contents. Incubate the plate at 30 degrees Celsius until motility flares are evident emanating from the inoculation point or the periphery of the motility rings. Use a sterile wire loop to lift the cells from the flare region and streak them onto an LB hard agar plate in order to purify single colonies. To confirm that the isolated suppressor mutants have restored motility, culture them on soft agar plates for strains of interest.